All right, you guys, I'm on my way to my doctor's. I just want to do a little video to tell you how crazy are people. This shows you what world we're in anymore. It's just, it just baffles my mind that people are so nuts out, out there. Even when they're not trying to be mean, not everybody. I'm not saying everybody's bad. But people are really touched. Okay, let me tell you real quickly what happened. Remember I told you guys yesterday about a lady gonna um, give me cat, cat food and she, because she was gonna give me a bag because her cat didn't like it. It's supposed to be a whole bag. Watch it be this big. Whatever. So it was out of my way. It was in my old neighborhood where I grew up. I, 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 I told her when I was writing her, oh my God, I know exactly where you are. See that little side street that you're next to? That's where I used to live down. I go, there used to be a Stroll's ice cream parlor down the way. I used to go and buy all my candy and walk up and down that sidewalk my whole life. So to make a long story short, she gave me her address and all that. That's how I knew where her house was. And I, 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 I rush out of work like a banshee because my cats are waiting to eat, right? I go there. There's no food out there. I go, are you kidding me? Is this the right address? And I knew it was the right address. I looked in the back, I looked in the front, and I beeped the horn a couple times. Because, mind you, it's only a little bit after 10 o'clock. I rush like a fool to get there. And the lights are all off. Well, this lady, being a nut job she is, decides to start cycle texting me at 1 o'clock in the morning or 1.30 in the morning, whatever it was, between 1 and 2, let's put it that way. I go, I, and at first it started off okay, oh, I'm so sorry, I fell asleep with my kiddos. I'm getting people sick kiddos, whatever. Anyways, I'm like, oh, okay, that's all right, can I, can I come tomorrow? Oh, I was going to tell you to come tomorrow anyways. I go, we just talked. Not even an hour and a half ago and you said to come. What do you mean that you're going to tell me to come tomorrow? I'm like, well, do you want me to come tomorrow? Are you going to... I was basically saying in so many words, are you going to have it out or not? Right? Because I don't have time and gas to waste. That's the whole point why I need to ask people like her for cat food is because I don't have the extra money. I don't. I don't have extra money in gas to waste anything else. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying to get more hours at work. I worked 16 hours the other day. And you might as well say I get to work early. So it was almost 17 hours that I was there. I got there 45 minutes early because I'm always early. So anyways... She goes on and on with her conversation. You you beeped your horn. I'm like, yeah. I go, I came all that way to think in there. I just talked to you an hour and a half ago and there's no cat food. She goes, well, you don't beep your horn at somebody. I go, listen, lady, we just talked. I don't have the money for gas to be coming. I don't live where I used to live. That was way out of the way for me. Way out of the way. I, I Way out of the way way out of the way and then she keeps texting me back I go just forget it I'm like you know what I go before I get any matter is what I said you have a good day thank you anyways it didn't work out is what I said she continues to text me five six more times I'm like what is wrong with you mentally seriously leave me alone and she goes, oh, there's no Stroh's ice cream place over here. I go, lady, I lived there for 40. I, she made me so mad, I answered her back. I go, what, what is she in dire need of conversation? I go, look, I lived there for 45 years of my life. There used to be a Stroh's ice cream parlor there. You know nothing about the neighborhood. I'm sorry, but there was, okay? So that's it. Please stop texting me. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Leave me alone. It didn't work out. Well, I, and then she writes, then she, then she proceeds to text me again. Lunatic that she is. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. It didn't work out. 
And you sure you don't want to come? I'm going to have to... I go... I didn't even answer in the March. I'm going to have to donate it. Donate it? Shove it up your ass. If it was so important, I talked to you an hour and a half. You're a grown adult. Your freaking brain can't comprehend. Gee, I may fall asleep with my kids. I better put the freaking cat food on the porch for the lady that's coming afterward. See, that's why I don't like people. I'm going to tell you right now. Because people think everything is nonchalant everything is made to be broken when you say something nobody their word doesn't mean shit no more for anybody you, you know it's just oh so yeah and it, but the worst thing is she just kept texting me have any of you experienced a lunatic like that i mean like i asked her nicely four times stop texting me and then i, I i'm like all right, Lisa, you got to use your brain and stop texting her because obviously this woman, something's wrong with her. So, yeah, I just let it go and I didn't answer her no more. And I'm thinking, what is really wrong with you? You know, something's very wrong with that woman to act like that. Why? How could you forget an hour and a half? I, I mean, come on. It maybe it wasn't even an hour and a half. It was more like an hour. Are you kidding me? So, yeah. So, that's uh, cat food. It's like, I'm wondering if she even had cat food at all. Really? Truthfully? Just like the guy who came and got his doors. Oh, yeah, there was no box there when I was putting that food out for that deer. I don't believe it. Me and my husband believes he took the box and ate the shit. That's pathetic that you're going to take something from a deer. And I know that guy has food to eat. Now, I could see if he didn't, that would be different. But that was half rot, rotted fruit and vegetables. I don't know. I just don't understand why people don't know what proper morals are anymore. People lost all common sense with things like... I'm not no perfect person. I'm not. I'm far from it. I really am. I make mistakes every day and all day. But it's just like, I wouldn't keep cycle texting somebody at almost 2 o'clock in the morning if they asked me to stop texting them. And she just kept going on. I don't want to hear your excuse. There's no excuse. You're a grown woman. You knew I was coming from a job that you should have had that out there. I just talked to you. How do you not remember? So, any of you have that experience? Any of you dealt with really mean people on the internet? Any of you dealt with people that won't leave you alone? I want to know. I'm just curious. I mean, obviously, this is very common what I went through. But I, I share my stories so it can trigger something in you. So you can say, oh, I remember that happened to me at a time. That's why I do what I do. And I love you all. And... Can this guy ride my ass anymore? Oh, what well, why are you on my ass? Stay away from me. You shouldn't be on my ass. Simple as that. I, I don't I don't ride people's asses, you know? So And he, he's gotta get real close to me anyways when we stop. I don't I don't understand. He just keeps on pulling up. It's just some people are just so mentally challenged, it's unbelievable. So anyways, let me know what you guys experience. Have you experienced anything like that? Tell me your stories because this is me, Lisa, sharing life stories with you. That's what it's about. Little shit that's either good or bad. Oh, and I got something else to tell you guys about. I went and there's nothing in the damn dumpster yet. But I'm going to go back a couple more times today. I got to cut grass and everything and make food. I am going to tell you about something that happened to me fraud yesterday you guys ain't gonna believe this and let's see if this has happened to you but i'm at least getting my money back and i'm pissed about it but i'm getting my money back so come back after in a little while i gotta do a video yeah go go you're so pressed see and that's another thing these freaks leave two minutes before they're supposed to be to work leave a little earlier imagine that and I, I, you're in the slow lane and you're getting flustered with me, I'm turning off into my doctor's parking lot. Get into a lane that isn't so, like, use your sense, dude. Don't get flustered at me. You're the idiot. Move, go over into the other two lanes that are completely open. Oh, wow, imagine that. Oh, 
I have no tolerance for ignorance. That's what I have no tolerance for. I, if I'm wrong and I do something wrong, I'm the first one to tell you. I always tell people at work, I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to inconvenience people, get in their damn way, bother them. I'm always constantly saying sorry to everybody. That's just how I am because I don't want to put people out. Because I know how I feel when I had like this guy who just did what he did. He's acting all... What am I supposed to do? I'm in the slow lane. I'm turning off in the next exit or two. Get over in the two lanes that are free. Oh, is that a is that a brain is that a brain frog frog or what frog or what? Have some sense. So, anyways, <laughs> come back after, and I'm gonna show you that steak I make with gravy. I got I put it in the crock pot. I gotta get gravy when I get out of the doctor's, and I got another lady who does have cat food for me. She was real nice. She's disabled, and I'm going to go get it. But she's right by my house. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get that back. I love you all. Come back. There's going to be more videos and some good stories today. I love you all. And who knows? Maybe I'll have some dumpster diving shit, too. Love you all. Have a good day. Come back. Bye. Just like and subscribe. We're all in this shit together. Bye.